What does it take to be a professional level gamer? Intelligence? Reaction time? Hand-eye coordination? Well, sure, these things help, yet not all pros have these attributes, and plenty of non-professionals do possess them, but they struggle in video games. So what gives? What quality makes someone a good gamer? Now, there are obviously a number of contributing factors, but by far the most important one is the habit of continual improvement. Now, that's a bit vague and sounds a bit boring, but I assure you it's not. It's fascinating seeing how this actually works and the lengths they'll go to in achieving the fastest growth. Have you ever watched a pro and noticed them say something like this? I should have dumped that scattered. I should have kept my bang all. I should have clicked. I should have clicked it out one more. Okay, I should have hit priest all the time, man. That's no accident, and they're not beating themselves up. This is an extremely important moment that helps these players improve so rapidly. Every time they do this, they're adding an entry to their own mental database of decision making. This presents itself as game awareness or game sense, where they essentially have access to a flowchart for every situation guiding them toward the most optimal play. Every mistake they make is quickly broken down into their current situation. For example, what hero they're playing, what map, who they're fighting and so on depending on the game, and then what they suppose went wrong. Next, they contemplate an alternate pathway to what a better outcome. Doing that was a mistake, I should have done this instead. So next time they're presented with the same or similar situation, that flowchart they access will have this updated option to try instead, hopefully leading to a better outcome. I like to imagine the comparison between a lower ranked player and a professional like this. Every circle on this grid represents a different situation. Green means they know how to handle it. Red means they haven't learned how. A lower ranked player has far more red entries, meaning they frequently aren't making the right plays. On the other hand, the pro has learned what to do in the majority of situations, leading to consistent high level performance. Every time someone takes a moment to determine what went wrong and what they could have done better, they convert a red dot into a green one. It's not always that simple, sometimes the new option someone comes up with may also be a wrong choice, but you get the gist of it. What's fascinating about this is that analyzing mistakes is only the beginning, and while it makes up the bulk of progression, the very best players source knowledge and improvement from anywhere they can. For example, taking a moment to determine why exactly they succeeded. This can help repeat successes in the future and also eliminate the need to fail first before finding this particular answer. It's a nice little shortcut. It doesn't stop there either. Analyzing the successes and failures of both teammates and enemies. Surprise is not pushing. You should have pushed. That guy could have killed me. Easily. Easily. He should have killed me. But he just kept spamming, dude. And this guy, I don't know how this guy didn't see me. Can greatly improve the rate at which a player adds to their database. It's almost like having multiple people contributing to one player's game sense. It's another great shortcut to rapidly improving. So if you're not already a professional, what does this mean for you? How can you leverage this? To start off, the most important thing is to form the habit of analyzing your mistakes during downtime. Most of the time, this is during deaths, load screens, lobbies, or walking back. If you rely on spontaneously summoning up the thought of, hey, I should think about what went wrong there, it's just not going to happen nearly as often as it needs to. I can't stress enough just how important it is to turn this into a habit. You need to associate bad outcomes and downtime with a thought process of what went wrong and what could I have done better. If you're a beginner or casual, you may not quite know how to answer the question of what could I have done better, and that's totally okay. Come up with an alternate pathway to the best of your knowledge. As you improve, the quality of your assessments will also improve, accelerating your gains. This means it can be a little slow at first, but rest assured it just gets better and better as you go. Once you start becoming comfortable with analyzing mistakes, you can branch out into successes and what teammates and enemies are also up to. Just don't rush this progression. There's no sense getting overwhelmed or submitting high quantities of low quality information. A massive pitfall to avoid, and professionals certainly aren't immune to this either, is allowing complaining and negativity to take the place of analysis after bad outcomes. If your reaction to a loss is to blame the game or your teammates, you've robbed yourself of the opportunity to learn. Every now and then is okay, we're only human, but complaining can easily become the habit if you let it. And there we have it. 
The mindset of continual improvement is shared by every pro gamer. Some do it better than others, yet ultimately, it's a skill that anyone can learn to significantly and permanently improve their gameplay. Thanks to the amazing viewers watching this, this channel has now unlocked memberships. They're basically like Twitch subs for YouTube, so you gain access to emotes, badges, and all sorts of privileges like a members only Discord, where we can chat about all things aim, gaming, and improvement. You can suggest video ideas, gain access to new videos early, and so on. If you're interested, there's a link in the description, or depending on your device, there may be a join button below this video. If you're a newer FPS player, where Game Sense will only get you so far without aiming mechanics, I encourage you to check out this video on how game devs are inadvertently sabotaging players that use default settings. Thanks so much for watching. To directly support the channel, please consider becoming a member. Be sure to subscribe for more content like this, and I'll catch you in the next one.